This is the main event, guys. This is the ruling, if you will. This is why I said big win for OTK and everyone else is still on the goddamn hook. This letter right here from the judge, Amy Clark Meacham to counsel. This is a ruling. And Ms. Kiff may be already aware of this. I know he was in stream last time. I wonder, is he here now? Ms. Kiff, put a one in the chat if you if you in here, buddy. Let us know. He not, he not in here today? Okay. All good. Let's go to the ruling, if you will. You like, shit. <laughs> Henry, what, what is this? All right, so this is the ruling. OK, this was submitted on uh, September 11th by the judge, the Honorable Judge Amy Clark Meacham. OK, Alinity, is she up in this joint? She should be. <laughs> uh, Ms. Kiff, are they not here? Are they both here? Ms. Kiff know this shit already. If he don't, if he's getting his updates from me, I feel bad for his attorney. He's streaming at the moment. Should I rate him? <laughs> uh, no. Nope. <laughs> Anywho. So what do we have here, guys? What do we have? I'll put myself in the middle. All right, so we got to go slowly, 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 slowly. Okay, so dear counsel, uh, after careful consideration of defendant Maya Higa's Rule 91 motion to dismiss, OTK Media's motion to dismiss, uh, OTK Inc.'s amended Rule 91A motion to dismiss, defendant Ms. Kiff and Ms. Kiff Enterprises motion to dismiss, and they left off crazy, crazy hit crazy slick the responses the replies the evidence the pleadings and arguments of rules as follows now remember guys this is only for the no basis in law or fact as in adriana lee's story is so unbelievable that no one will read it believe it okay so rule 91 motion to dismiss i am going intentionally slow okay what does it say uh defendant maya higa hold on give me a second let me let me try something different. <laughs> let me try something different for you guys. Uh, no, I can't do it like that. We're going to have to do it. We're going to have to do it slowly. Sorry about that, guy. You're like, Henry, why would you? Why would you do us like that? Why would you? Let's go back to it. So if you see it, defendant Maya Higa rule 91 motion to dismiss is granted in part and denied in part. So what is granted? What is denied? Defendant Maya Higa's motion to dismiss is granted with respect to fraud and torturous interference with business and relationships. Okay, so uh, what does that mean? Uh, the defendant Maya Higa's Rule 91 motion to dismiss is denied in all other respects. God damn. <laughs> so. Maya Higa is still on the hook for um, defamation and intentional infliction of emotional distress. Guys, what do you think about that? Is it fair? Is it foul? Remember, they still have the TCPA uh, that could potentially get them off the hook. Now, let's go to OTK. <laughs> OTK, <laughs> defendant OTK Media Inc.'s amended Rule 91 motion to dismiss is granted. There we go. Look, 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 guys. Henry, thank you so much. They are thanking the judge because they are off this lawsuit. They are officially done with the entire lawsuit, OTK as a community. The question is, remember, they're countersuing Adriana Lee for, um, was it $350,000 deal that they lost plus the $25,000 lawyer fees. So, um... Uh, I'm sure OTK know this shit already, uh, and they are well aware. Um, so every OTK is not on the hook for fraud, not on the hook for defamation, not on the hook for intentional infliction of emotional distress, not on the hook for torturous business interference. Okay, and OTK does not include Ms. Kiff. Sorry, guys, if you were like, oh shit, <laughs> what about Ms. Kiff? Uh, nope, no. Now let's see what Crazy Slick, <laughs> Crazy Slick's uh, involvement is. Uh, defendant Jacob Rodriguez motion to dismiss is granted in part and denied in part. Oh shit, look, even he getting some bail, okay? <laughs> even he getting some bail. Defendant Crazy Slick's Rule 91 motion to dismiss is granted with respects to fraud and torturous interference with business relationships. But defendant Jacob Rodriguez, Rule 91 motion to dismiss is denied. Mm. 
in all other respects. So they, so Maya Higa and Crazy Slick are in the same boat. Now the moment everyone's waiting for, they like, hey, <laughs> Henry, <laughs> what about our guy? What about our Kang, Ms. Kiff? What about him? All right, defendants, uh, Matthew, uh, Ms. Kiff, and Ms. Kiff Enterprises, Inc. Uh, Rule 91, motion to dismiss is granted in part and denied in part. Mm. Defendants Matthew, uh, Ms. Kiff, and Ms. Kiff, Inc. Amended Rule 91 motion to dismiss is granted in respects to fraud and torturous interference with business relationships. And defendants, you know, uh, Ms. Kiff and Ms. Kiff, Inc. is still on the hook for everything else because that got denied. Jesus, guys, what, what do you guys, what do you guys think of this? And what does it say right here? Please prepare your prospective proposed orders, circulate them to opposing counsel for approval as to form and submit them to this court for signature. Thank you. Now, here's the thing, guys. Uh, what What is going to happen ultimately now that we didn't got this, this uh, ruling per se and it just came down on everybody like a ton of bricks, if you will, is that the biggest... Thing to look out for is OTK, that countersuit. Will it get to move forward? Will they get granted their lawyer fees um, and all that good stuff? Now, keep in mind, oh, my changes didn't get saved. My changes did not get saved. Here's the thing. They are still on the hook for bare minimum $1.2 million for the defamation and infliction of emotional distress. So they are not out the woods yet, if you will. But what do you guys think about this? Is this a big win for Ms. Kiff and OTK? Or um, are you happy with the outcome? Let me know in the comment section. Now, for a longer discussion, let's talk about it. Uh, they can still get out of this on the TCPA, the, uh, which is the uh, freedom of speech. They all submitted motions. OK, uh, but what do you guys think? Oh, that's not that's not good for Adriana. Now they're going to turn their sights on destroying her. Well, yeah, here's the thing with OTK. They can basically flank her for this lawsuit and just hit her with look at OTK, <laughs> OTK like. And guys, remember, OTK wanted off this thing like nobody's business. If you if you guys remember, OTK wanted out of here. They wanted out of here so bad and they they filed a um they the the countersuit remember the countersuit where they was like um we not only want off this we want to sue her give me a second to see if i can so this is otk's counterclaim remember they wanted the three hundred and fifty thousand dollars at the time of the reports, OTK was on the cusp of closing a deal worth $350,000 in sponsorship revenue with a potential brand partner. However, because the lawsuit was filed uh, by the plaintiff against OTK, the deal fell through. Plaintiff intentionally and maliciously added OTK to her lawsuit and made false statements about OTK and its involvement in the events alleged in plaintiff's petition. So you have to wonder, right? What? Is the judge going to rule because OTK is entitled to recover the value of the lost business opportunity caused by plaintiff, along with exemplary damages uh, for plaintiff's willful and malicious allegations. So you have to wonder, remember, um, do not forget that 1.2 million is still on the line with those two counts alone, plus whatever that the judge seems deems necessary. Do you think OTK should get awarded the, uh, whatchamacallit, do you think OTK should get rewarded the 375000 What do you guys think? Yes, no, maybe. Put, put one for yes, two for no. Should OTK get awarded 375000 $5,000 from Adriana Lee.